headline is fighting hate and what you're watching right now is a campus seminar on anti-Semitism. Yeah, we've been watching and this is actually a live feed from that event and we're going to talk about what triggered the rise of a nationwide instance of anti-Semitism that's happening right here in the United States. Our Jeff Gillen sat down with one of the main sponsors of tonight's event, former Senator Harry Reid. Jeff? That's right. Good evening, everybody. For Reid, this is personal, not only because his wife was born to Jewish parents, but because he had family members fight in World War II and saw the horror of Hitler. Harry Reid wants to make something clear. There's too much hate in America today. There's too much hate in Nevada. And so this former senator, once one of the most powerful people in Washington, says everybody who's watching this story needs to do this. Speak out against it. We have to do that. And that's why I'm doing this event at a university. The bigger picture is the backdrop. According to the Anti-Defamation League, in 2017, the latest year their data is available, anti-Semitic incidents surged 60 percent nationwide. The ADL says it was the largest single-year increase on record. And Nevada isn't immune. The ADL says between 2015 and 2017, our state saw 17 incidents of anti-Semitic harassment and vandalism. It's happened here in the Valley and up in Reno. Under that fresh coat of paint was a swastika painted at UNR's Fine Arts Building. Why do you think it's getting worse? Well, I'm not gonna blame it on anybody. March 16th, Bernie Sanders came to Henderson. News reports included a picture that Reed found particularly disturbing. Lots of people were there, but there was a Bernie sign with a big swastika through it. Maybe the person holding that sign did not know about the wound that symbol still causes. Or maybe we as a society are growing increasingly numb to the hate around us. We saw it in Virginia in 2017. One person died. Remember the senator. We all need to speak out against things like that. We can't condone it in any way. In Las Vegas, Jeff Gillen, News 3. Jeff, thank you. Well, do you have one of those electric